Hi there everyone, welcome again to Indian Story Read Along. Today's story is from Tinkle's Holiday Special, which I do not have a date on, but it just says number 37 there in the corner. I think it was from at least 10 years ago. So what I really like about Tinkle is that they have stories from everywhere in the world and they also have like ancient folk tales and uh, explanations for why certain things are the way they are. This story is called the Chinese calendar based on a Chinese folk tale. And so you see that in the corner there. So you see everyone there in the, in the corner. The first one uh, in the Chinese calendar, the first animal is supposed to be the rat, then ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, and then boar. And so there's 12 of them and each of them take on a year in a 12 year cycle. So this is called the Chinese calendar, a Chinese folktale. The world was going topsy-turvy. It's snowing in midsummer. Brrrr. In winter, oh dear, the heat will make me faint. We are very close to that right now, unfortunately. <laughs> this is not too far off from what it is. That wasn't all. The oceans are drying. The cocks aren't crowing. Yeah, that's that's I wonder what they did. I don't think that's our solution, though. The gods are worried and called a council. The situation on Earth is grave. I want you, young god, to go down and resolve the problem. I will go there right away. So that young one in red with the crown goes down. The young god flew down to Earth. After assessing the situation for six months, the dragon says to him, the stars of the zodiac are moving away from their places. That's creating the confusion. And the god says, hmm, you're right. We must appoint animals to guard the zodiac. We'll call a meeting tomorrow. I wish it was that easy now. I mean, climate change is not like me just be like, hey, animals, save us. Later that day, when we're the ones killing off all the animals. Later that day, wanted guardians for the Zodiac, interested animals. Okay, so they posted like a Craigslist <laughs> on the tree over there to be present for selection at the forest clearing. So all the interested animals would go there. Tomorrow at dawn, gosh, I never wake up that early. Rat, says the cat, will you wake me? We'll walk to the forest together. And then the rat says, sure. Isn't this interesting? Look at that picture. I don't think that's a mistake. The rat is much bigger than that cat, if you notice. It's a huge, huge rat. The next morning, the rat's like, uh-oh, I'm so late. And he doesn't wake up his friend. Ugh. And then everyone goes to the forest clean clearing. So you see everybody there. A lot of the these animals did make it into the zodiac. And then the rat goes in and he's like, huh. I feel like I've forgotten something, but, but what? I don't think he's forgotten. Like it kind of seems like you left him back on purpose, his friend, the cat. So then the young God says, we have finally chosen 12 animals from amongst those present today as Zodiac guardians. And then the rats like the cat, I forgot to wake him. Did you, did you really? I don't know. The guardian of the 12th sign is the sturdy pig, that's the last one, or the boar, who's in the, the 12th place in the, the thing, in the circle. The names of the chosen animals were read out one by one till the guardian of the second sign of the zodiac is the industrious rat. Oh, the second one, okay. Clap, 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 clap. And leading them all, guardian of the prestigious first sign of the zodiac is the trustworthy and dependable ox. Here, here, bravo! Great going, little fellows. <laughs> the elephant says to the ox, would be a little fella. But then the mouse says, huh, I object. This election is rigged, or why would the ox be in first place and I in second? And then the young god says, well, for one, he is big and strong and you're not. Big? He? Why, I am far bigger. What? 
How is he going to pull this one off, this rat? You're all blinded by prejudice. Humans are neutral. Let them decide who is bigger and who gets first place, says the rat. Everyone's laughing at ha 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 And then the ox says, er, sir, the rat is a trouble troublesome pest. Let him have his way. The people will choose me anyway. Then the young god says, all right, little one. You and Ock shall go to the village tomorrow morning and let the people decide. But after that, no more complaining. All right. The meeting ended and all the animals headed home. Now the rat's like, I can't go home. The cat will devour me. True. You left him in the lurch, didn't you? Er, brother squirrel, says the rat. Can I stay with you for a few days? I'm so tense and I'd like to have you around. Um, all right, just don't trouble me, says the squirrel. So he's staying in the woods for a few days. Later that night, when the ox was resting, boo hoo hoo someone's crying outside, thinks the ox. Oh, it's you, dear rat. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, I'm so ashamed. You're far bigger than I. I was only jealous. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Tomorrow the people will choose you, and everyone will laugh at me. Oh, I can't bear the shame. The ox says, don't worry, we can withdraw the challenge if you want. And then the rat says, oh, no, no, I can't run away now. Oh, dear, if only I could be thrice as big as I am. I would be less of a joke, three times as big as he is. Do you think the god might grant my wish? Would you mind? I wouldn't mind. Why, I'd still be far bigger, says the ox. So the god, the ox and the rat went to the god and requested him to make the rat three times bigger, just for a day. Oh, and then he gets like super big. I see. But yeah, like the ox is still bigger. The next day, m the next morning in the village, look at that rat. He's huge. <laughs> I get it. I get what he's doing. Everyone, you can expect a mouse to be small or a rat to be small, but anytime you see a giant rat, everyone is freaked out and they're, oh my God, look at that rat. But no one's gonna be like, look at that ox. No, it's an ox, that's what size it's supposed to be. Did you see that rat? <laughs> yes, I've never seen anything so big. Yeah, what a monster of a rat. A monster rat, says the ox. Soon, the rat became the star attraction and the ox was completely ignored. Aren't you from the next village? Yes, we've come to see the giant rat. <laughs> I guess like they need to, some entertainment was needed in those days. I don't know. I would go. I would probably go to another town just to see a giant rat. And then the ox is thinking, our eyes have deceived us. The rat is indeed a giant. But see what all the animals are missing, like I said before, is he is big for a rat. What the ox originally thought was true. He, even if he was three times as big, he would not be anywhere near as big as the ox. But that's still impressive. A rat that's as big as like a dog, ugh. Like everyone's grossed out, but they still wanna see it. As they left the village, Brother rat, you are bigger than me. See, see, this is the thing. The ox was fooled. His his mind was changed and, and not in a logical way. You are bigger than me. Forgive me for not noticing before. You certainly deserve the first place. And so, the mighty guardian of the first sign of the zodiac, says the young god, is the industrious and crafty rat. Hip, hip, hurrah! Long live the giant rat! And he's going to shrink back down soon. But the mighty rat did not get long to bask in its glory. The cat catches up. Finally, the cat wakes up. Now, I, you also know maybe that's why cats sleep forever. You filthy creature, you did not wake me up. I, I, I. Thus the rat, with its cunning, won the first place in the Chinese zodiac calendar. However, till today, it has to escape the angry cat. Hmm, so before then cats and rats were friends. Interesting. I love all these old stories, like these folk stories, because uh, they have all these interesting ideas as to how things are the way they are, but they're all based on stories, which is really fun. So anyway, if you want more Tinkle Stories or Chandamama or illustrated books, 
um, or Panchatantra or whatever I have, then please come back and join us again on Indian Story Read Along. Um, I'm still going through all my old books. All right, we'll see you soon.